just giving it a little bit of time since it's not quite seven yet. Um, and it's early, so <laughs> I'm sure that not many people will be on this morning, but that's okay. You can catch the live later when it's posted. <clears throat> I'll probably just go ahead and start since it's seven. Um, so I'm going to unload this and then I'm going to be adding things back in for the gold luster firing. Um, <clears throat> And then that'll be all I get done before tomorrow morning. <laughs> so um, we're going to get started. Hey, Josh, you made it. I wasn't sure if you would be able to. You have work, don't you? You would be a. Okay, we're getting started. I have work today, too. I have to work at 8 <laughs> for my day job. Okay. Um, there's a lot of ornaments in here. I was trying to play catch up on some ornaments. I haven't made them in like a year. Good morning. <laughs> uh, so I got a little lazy at the end with these because I was glazing until one in the morning. Um, and I was tired and I was just ready to be done with it. So I started slapping glaze on some things, but, uh, I'm sure they're still cute. And the kiln is at like 140 degrees, which is still warm, but I'm able to, I think I'm able to touch everything. So, good. Um, okay, I made three of these. They're just, they're just a tree. Uh, these are going to go back in. I'm going to add little gold dots on there just to kind of give it some interest. Um, I planned on doing that, but um, those are cute. I did, uh, that's Mako Shino. Four coats. You have to do a lot of coats of Mako Shino to get that teal color. Otherwise, um, it turns out this brown color on the back because I didn't put as many coats on the back. But the front's pretty. And they were on stilts because I glazed both sides. Just three of those. Um, and then I did a matching, a kind of a set. Um, I'll get the stilts off. And then I have been having so much fun with these little U-shaped, um, sorry, my chair wall. Oof, there we go. U-shaped um, wires. Um, so I can do ornaments, and this is what I've been using to do all those little dangly things. Um, but, what is it? Peace, love, joy. But those are cute little rustic ones. I'll have to go back and, well, these are fine. I don't need to grind these. But on those other ones where the glaze is thicker, I'll have to grind the little stilt marks off of there. Um, this one. I don't know what color green that is. Uh, I think it's lustrous jade. And then this is um, cinnabar on the bottom and then leather on the button. That's cute. Oh, I can't see who else is in here. How do you see? Ugh. I don't even know. Throw a comment in there and then I'll know. <laughs> okay, another one that has lustrous jade and cinnabar and then leather on this little rope thing. Nothing crazy. And then I broke out my satin matte glazes, which I am absolutely in love with that line of glazes. They are so much fun. Um, I love the finish of them. So. A lot of these, the rest of these ornaments are just going to have satin matte glazes, but this is the red and I don't even know what color that is, mint maybe, but that's cute. I like it. And I did a line of um, kind of western cactusy ornaments and they turned out so cute. I love that. Cute, cute. I say cute cute too much. I was watching my video back and I was like, I said it so many times. Okay, I'm not going to say it again. There's another one, black and teal and pink. Um, I I've, I've did underglaze under these and then wiped it back. And you can still see the underglaze. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to. I like it. And then another one. What color did I put on that? It looks like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell what color that one is. <clears throat> this one's so cute. I really like this one. I think it's, <laughs> thanks Josh, <laughs> keep me from saying it. I like this one. That color of red and green together looks pretty. Those shades. 
and then a red and teal one, and then we'll move on to the next. This was just a half shelf on top, like that. See how warm that is. I think I can do it Quick, quickly because it's still kind of toasty. I may have to put gloves on for the stuff in the bottom where it's a little bit hotter. Ooh, those shelves are warm. Okay, gloves. Um, so I wanted to incorporate some bowls in this show because I don't make bowls very often. Um, to be honest with you, I find bowls to be harder to make than other things and I don't understand why. I think it's that I try to make them the same and match and I have trouble getting them to look the same. So I have a set of two bowls here. I think this is sapphire float and then I put leather on the outside just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So that's a set of two. Those look nice. I love that blue color. That's pretty. And then I have a plate, a hand built plate um, with rustic trees on the outside. And this is stone denim, which is one of my very favorite glazes. I'm getting a new light, so hopefully we won't have this ring issue anymore when that comes in. It's just a panel light, so hopefully things will look better in the future videos. But for now, this is what we have. Um, but that looks really cute. I'm trying to get up there so you can see the trees. That looks nice. And then the back. And I don't, let me see if it's flat. It's flat. Yay. That's cute. I only said it one time, Josh. All right, some more ornaments. This is one that I got a little lazy with because <laughs> I was tired. I'll go back and add gold on there just to give it some flair, but that's just ochre celadon. This is bee leaf. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> Urgh. You're gonna start a drinking game where <laughs> every time I'll reset it's cute, you take a shot. <laughs> I don't drink, by the way. <laughs> cute. That's, um, take a shot. Uh, what is that? That's Lustrous Jade. Josh keeps things interesting. I know. <laughs> you would have been like one minute in. <laughs> all right. Those are all the same. So, okay. Uh, that was it on that shelf because plates take up so much room, which is the reason I don't make them that much. Um, anyway, kiln uh, cones. It got a little bit warmer this time. Okay. The fun stuff is on the bottom. They're the most fun stuff, anyway. <clears throat> okay. I'll save the mugs for last because they're always my favorite. That's that's why I make so many mugs. They're just I love making them the most. Uh, okay, my second set of bowls. Again, I did leather on the outside. Oh, I like it where the. This is lustrous jade on the inside where the lustrous jade kind of met the leather. Kind of made like a little cute drippiness. Like them. And they do stack. Uh, Carly made a little, she made this dish a long time ago. Um, and she just now <laughs> got it glazed. It's warped though, so I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Like it won't, it's not, it's not flat at all. So, anyway, but I think she did stone denim and light flux on there. Okay, there's um, more ornaments. I tried some new kinds, and these are all satin matte glazes still. Um, a little Santa. I like that. And then I made a little set of Santa's different style. Oh, I'll get them all out. Let me try again. Three. A set of three. Okay. Let me take this. Alright. <laughs> so 
like they're quirky. <laughs> they're fun though. <laughs> I like those. So fun. Little set. They're kind of small, but I like them. Ornaments are so fun to make. Last year, was it last year or the year before? I did a, a couple ornament events where people got to make their own ornaments. That was fun. I need to do something like that again. Now that I'm getting into slip casting, I can make a bunch of casts and let people paint them. Another one of the Western ones. I need more ornaments than I thought I did. Uh, one more ornament. I like this one too. Gnome. Yeah, I know. I should have done some. I never do gnome stuff. Oh, these are kind of warm, so I'll try to do it without gloves. I need to get the kiln wash. There we go. Um, this is that lovely Scraffito B1. Hey, Corbin. That I just love. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and it's just ochre. Sell it on inside. Um, I didn't want to put anything over this because it's just... I like it the way it is. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, I know, Julie. I was thinking about that the other day. We need to schedule that. Yep, we need to do that. That must have been last year, huh? That we did the ornament events. My post just fell over. Okay, this was another Scraffito Mountain mug that I did. And then I just put a dark blue inside. I didn't know what color to put. And I just picked one <laughs> so that looks nice though the same thing on the handle and then you just got the mountains nice uh there's only two more mugs in here but the cow one that i spent so long doing i will save for last uh, now this one uh is already spoken for uh, and it was she picked her own colors but that looks cool she wanted um, like OSU orange <laughs> and black, so we did the Mako orange gloss. I did um, underglaze first and then wiped it back and then did the orange gloss over that to help bring out the texture. That looks so good. Yeah, this is way better. So she's the one that had the, um, the green uh, tree and mountain mug that I pulled out last time, and it just didn't show the texture enough, and I agree with that. So... We went another route and I had this mug already made, just unglazed, so she got to pick and that looks good. And this is the satin matte black from Amco, which is such a lovely finish. But isn't that look cool? Love that. All right, it's cow time. <laughs> Did I say pig earlier? It's cow time. Yay! Okay, so I had to pay really close attention to not overlapping the glazes on this because when they overlap, there's like tiny spots where they kind of meld it together, but it actually looks good that way. But I wanted to be careful not to overlap them so that it wouldn't get muddy. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I said I wouldn't do anymore, but this is just too cool not to. I said cool. Not, not the other word. I love it. And I love the little dangly <laughs> ear tag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like all of this on the outside is from the Amico Satin Matte Glazes. And I have a little squeezy bottles for every color. Um, so I used the squeezy bottle to do all that work, which is why it took so long. But that was the only way I was going to get clean lines um, on it. So this is a custom pink color I mixed up, same custom pink. This is the yellow, and then obviously black and white, red on the little tag, and then um, what, uh, what color? It's the Celadon God, Blossom something. Um, but, oh my gosh. I love this crap. So worth it. It was worth it. I was like, man, this took so long. I'm never going to make it again unless it's worth it. And I don't know. It's pretty worth it. Yay. Okay. So all of this stuff is going to the festival with me in the morning. Um, and again, it's from 9 to 3 in Cordell. Um, 
And then after that is the Hydro Festival. And then two weeks after that is the El Reno Big Christmas Expo, which I did last year, but it was in Shawnee. Um, and that one was a two day show. So this one's also a two day show in El Reno. But um, after I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then I have to put some stuff in for a gold luster firing and a luster firing takes about 15 hours so hopefully I can get that done and going and so I can take those with me in the morning as well um, I'm just gonna leave this here okay I also have to go to work at 8 so <laughs> we're gonna get all this done before 8 o'clock um, so I am gonna have to get out of here I hate to leave you guys so quickly but I appreciate y'all hopping in so early to watch my kiln opening and this is so much fun doing it with people. I'm usually in here by myself just filming and then <laughs> posting it later, um, but I like doing this. So thank you guys for showing up um, and you'll be seeing a lot of me because I got to stay busy in between these shows making stuff. So we'll be having a lot of kiln openings coming up and um, hopefully I can see some of you tomorrow morning. I love you too, Josh. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I'll see you next time.